Welcome to Our Lady Star of the Sea. My name is uh, Megan Carter. I am the principal of Our Lady Star of the Sea School, and I would like to take you on a virtual tour of our school. I'm very excited to share it with you. Lady Star of the Sea has been in this beautiful family community of Ghost Point Woods for over 60 years. We have grades um, preschool through eighth grade. We have two preschool programs, a three-year-old preschool, a four-year-old preschool. We also have a Young Fives program for students who need a little bit of extra time before moving on to kindergarten. Then we also have a kindergarten through eighth grade uh, programs. We have one grade for each, one class for each of those grades. We have some amazing teachers uh, who are faith-filled, loving, and caring. Uh, we also have a resource learning center in which our resource instructor helps students who have any type of learning disability, um, any in individual um, education plans. Um, we also have a counselor on staff that assists students with any social, uh, emotional, adaptable needs uh, that they may have in the school. Um, we are very excited to have many different specials, um, ranging from, um, we have gym, uh, we have music, art, computers, technology, and library for the younger ones. Um, we have three teachers that I'm going to be sharing with you today who are going to be walking you through our school and sharing the different grades with you. Mrs. Cheryl Kanka is going to be sharing the preschool through kindergarten program with you. Um, Mrs. Mary Lynn Muir is going to be sharing the first grade through fifth grade programs with you. And finally, Mrs. Kelly Fortier is going to be sharing the sixth grade through eighth grade programs with you. I hope you enjoy our school. We are so proud of it and we really look forward to seeing you and your family at Our Lady Star of the Sea. This is our uh, preschool through fifth grade hallway um, with all of our classrooms here along here with the wide open airy hallways. Um, you can see here that we have a ton of artwork that is displayed by all of our grades. Um, we have a great art program here we'll talk about another time. Um, our young, young Fives is here, and this is our Miss Cheryl Kanka, who is going to be taking care of us and walking us through our preschool um, and Young Fives program. Hi, I'm Cheryl Kanka, and welcome to our school. Um, we do have a um, great early childhood program here at Our Lady Star of the Sea. Uh, we have from a three-year-old, four-year-old, Young Five, and the kindergarten program. Um, right here we have our young five. So let's take a walk in here and see what's going on in here. And we have a nice open room. We have um, you know, some individual desks. And in young fives, we work on getting them ready for kindergarten. We look to have them provide, it provides an opportunity for the students to grow with their social emotional skills, uh, following directions, lengthening their, uh, in their attention span, and their independence. So if they're not quite ready for that kindergarten step, this year offers them a little bit more of a um, chance to hone in on some of those fine motor skills and attention spans and such like that. And we do have a buddy program that we work with with our young fives our four-year-olds and our kindergarten in the early childhood. And we buddy up with the fourth and fifth graders and we do several activities throughout the year, usually on a monthly basis. And we do go to mass with them. They sit with us at mass um, every uh, Thursday, Friday when we go to mass. So we, we learn to cooperate with them and learn from those leaders in the fourth and fifth grade. So it's wonderful for you to visit our Young Fives class. We can take a walk down to our three-year-old class will be next stop on our tour. And as we walk down here, we have all the wonderful art from all the wonderful classes. You'll see different grade levels. And we will walk past our uh, kids club room. We do have a program, a latchkey type of program, and that's available to you as well. And here is our three-year-old preschool room. You can come on in here and check out what's going on in here. And for our three-year-old program, uh, a lot of it is just introducing them to the school atmosphere, a lot to do with the schedules and the routines, developing those, those social skills and the self-help school, 
skills, learning how to share, how to be in a classroom with other friends. As you can see, we have a lot of different types of toys and manipulatives that they can use to work on those fine motor and gross motor skills. We do have a patio with some gross motor equipment out on, uh, connected directly to our three-year-old program so they can get out, get the fresh air, get that gross motor going, and um, work with that. We do occasionally have times when we can mix up our threes and fours and kind of have the four-year-olds kind of show them the ropes and, and things like that. So we do kind of collaborate together within the, all the early childhood classrooms. All right. So this is three-year-old. We also do have a bathroom right here for our threes and our four-year-olds. So you'll see that in the four-year-old classroom as well. So that's really nice that when they gotta go, they'll go and we don't have to worry about lining up in the hallway. So we can walk down, take a short little jaunt down to the four-year-old classroom. Again, we have some really nice bulletin boards. Here are the bigger kids' bathrooms. The young fives will use these big bathrooms. They don't have one bathroom in their classroom. Um, so they'll come down here and use that. And then we have the four-year-old and then kindergarten is down here too. And we'll take a look at those. So this is kind of our four-year-old wing right here, this area. So we'll come on in to four-year-old preschool. So four-year-old's a super busy classroom. We are working on those same goals from the three-year-old, the self-help skills, the independence, the schedules and routines, but we're also starting to throw in some of that academic information, getting those letters, those numbers, the, the shapes, the colors, um, the fine motor, the gross motor. We also have a patio attached to our classroom. We get out there, we do a lot of science experiments, uh, watch things grow, and things like that. You know, fall we do a lot with the pumpkins, and then in the spring we do a lot of planting, and um, we just get to see the wildlife out there. So there's a lot of science that goes on in four-year-old preschool, and we also have a bathroom attached here. So again, our four-year-olds are not traipsing out in the hall, and we have to worry about all that stuff. If they have to go, they just let us know. So our four-year-old preschool and our three-year-old preschool with the bathrooms is a big bonus. They can take that ownership and say, oh, I have to go, and they can go. So that's a great thing here in our four-year-old classroom and threes. And we also, four-year-olds do buddy up with the fourth and fifth graders like the young fives do. So we will also be, uh, four-year-old will be going to church with them, doing monthly projects with them, uh, going to special events. Um, if there's a special event, some type of field trip in the gym, an in-house field trip, we will go and sit with our buddies. So we will experience different things in the, in the school with our buddies as well. So let's go on down to, ne right next door is kindergarten, so it's not that far of a walk. And kindergarten really collaborates with the preschool classes as well so that we work together so that we know in threes, fours, and young fives that we're getting the, our kids ready so that they are ready when they come into the kindergarten classroom to tackle that extra work that they're going to need to be doing. So this is our kindergarten classroom. Again, a nice airy feel. Um, they will also occasionally use our preschool patio. We're right next door. So we'll collaborate on things together. Uh, we might have the preschoolers and the four-year-old preschoolers and the kindergartners come together and maybe do an experiment together outside. So that's always an opportunity for it. In kindergarten, they really work on all the academic subject areas. They have a lot of those, um, you know, reuse the, the consumable books. The biggest thing that we work on in kindergarten is that reading readiness, getting them ready to take that next step into first grade. So there's a big push for pulling out what they got in the young fives and the four-year-old program and helping them really hone that in and getting ready to be starting readers. Some start reading in kindergarten and then be ready to continue that into our first grade. All right, so, well, it was very nice for you to come and visit for our early childhood 
program here at Our Lady Star of the Sea. I hope that you got all your an questions answered. If you didn't, please feel to give us a call. We're always willing to just touch base with you. And I am going to leave you and you're going to go visit the rest of the elementary hallway. Have a great day. Hi, I'm Mrs. Near. I'm the fifth grade teacher here at Star of the Sea. I'm going to lead you on a short tour of our lower school, first through fifth grade. We have a wonderful faith-filled community. In our elementary, we have small class sizes, which allows the teachers to um, really provide a lot of one-on-one -on -one instruction to our students. Um, I'd like to start with first grade, so come on into our first grade classroom. Our first grade students really focus on reading fluency. They learn how to um, do a lot of word solving. They develop math strategies. And writing focuses on developing and writing paragraphs. Our first and second grade classrooms have guided reading groups which again allows for that one-on-one -on -one instruction from our classroom teachers. Across the hallway is our second grade. Second grade is a big year for students because they prepare to receive um, two sacraments, penance and uh, first communion. One thing that I love about our school is that our students are a part of a buddy program and our second graders, as they prepare for these sacraments, um, meet with the eighth graders who are also preparing for confirmation. Throughout the year, they participate in classroom activities, um, developing bonds with each other, learning about the sacraments. Um, also during Advent and Lent, they attend special seasonal um, prayer services, and programs together. So this is our second grade classroom. Second graders also in math um, spend a lot of time working with money and time and are introduced to um, three digit addition and subtraction. Down the hallway we have our third grade class. Um, I'd like to add first and second graders um, during lunch and recess eat together. So uh, when students move into third grade, um, they then move into the third through fifth grade group um, at lunch and recess. In third grade, our students start to learn about cursive writing, um, which they use both in their, they practice handwriting and they use in their writing class. A big part of third grade is memorizing their multiplication facts. In third grade history, students study um, the state of Michigan and our third graders get to go on an exciting field trip to visit the state capitol and, uh, and that's always a, a fun trip to ride on a bus to go to, to Lansing. of our reading program, we really like to encourage um, independent reading and our students participate in the Accelerated Reader Program. So once they finish reading an independent, at third grade, hopefully a chapter book, they're able to take a short quiz and earn points through this Accelerated Reader Program. So that's a way that we're able to individualize our reading program to meet um, each student where they are and set individualized goals for them. All right, I'd like to head down to our fourth grade. Um, as we're going down the hallway, I'll also mention that we have a learning resource center. And our learning resource teacher works with students who have diagnosed learning disabilities. She's able to provide one-on-one -on -one instruction for those students um, to meet the um, accommodations um, that they need. Um, she will visit our classrooms, um, kind of serve as a co-teacher, and she also does pull out one-on-one -on -one instruction. So we're very lucky to have that position here at STAR. And again, just one more thing that helps us to, to meet the needs of our students. Our fourth graders um, in religion study um, the uh, Divine Mercy, and weekly they pray the Chaplet of Divine Mercy. Um, 
uh, they start off the year with a really important unit on study skills, and that helps the students to um, study smarter, not harder, and really helps the students to um, set sets a path for success for them um, as they are in fourth grade. Um, in math, in fourth grade, um, students take those multiplication facts that they hopefully mastered in third grade and start to learn long multiplication and long division. In social studies for fourth grade, uh, students focus on studying the five regions of the United States. We have a great science program that, that starts in our lower school. We really like to foster with our students um, that sense of investigating and exploring. So we try to bring hands-on um, activities into our classroom and lab-like experiences as much as possible. In fifth grade, we really like to emphasize that our students are the leaders of the lower school. And we try to prepare them for the transition to middle school. Um, we have very high expectations for their academic work and really press upon them the importance of responsibility, of organization, and um, preparing them for, for that transition to the middle school. Um, they, are, they really take a lot of pride in being leaders. Um, it's a great uh, motivation point for them. Um, in math in fifth grade, really want strong computation skills in mastering long multiplication, long division. We also do a lot of work with fractions and decimals. Um, we use here at STAR the IXL math program, which like the accelerated reader program, allows us to individualize our instruction for each student. Um, we can take their um, assessment um, diagnostic reports and really hone in on what areas and skills they need to develop. So we have a lot of, of great resources and tools that we can implement here at STAR to individualize our instruction and meet the needs of each student that comes in into our classroom. Um, on the topic of leadership, I would like to briefly talk to you about our student leadership team. Um, middle school students are elected to be our officers and then fourth through eighth graders um, all will vote in their classrooms for classroom representatives. And this team of students um, really do a lot in our school for service, service here in our, in our school and parish community, and then also outreach into to the larger community, focusing on that service aspect of our faith. Um, so that's a wonderful um, uh, program um, group that we have here at STAR. Thank you so much for touring the lower school. So this was our lower elementary school um, wing and our lower entity school classrooms as well as our early um, education with our preschool and our young fives. Uh, this is the way that we walk to get to our middle school. Um, our middle school is uh, part of the full school campus. However, it is a little bit further away and kind of gives us a natural separ separation between the middle school and the lower school. Um, our school has a full-time school counselor. Uh, Mrs. Blantones is our school counselor. She is available um, to help the students in any way that she can with any social issues, any emotional issues. She works very, very closely with our resource um, teacher to help those students that need any additional support academically, but also um, socially um, and emotionally. Um, so this is the way to our middle school. Um, everybody here, all the teachers at the middle school are using Google Classroom as our base platform for um, all academic support and learning. Um, we are using that for um, using Google Meet to meet with students um, and, and individual students and groups of students outside the classroom if necessary. Um, that's where many students, particularly our middle school, uh, they use that platform to post homework assignments. Um, to allow students to discuss topics with each other with Google Chat. Um, so that whole Google platform is what we're using. Uh, this is entering into our cafeteria area here um, where the students all join to um, have lunch during their lunch time. We have hot lunches um, provided by um, an outside source that gives the students some great opportunities for hot lunches. Um, this is our gym. It's a full-size gym. Um, we used to be, the middle school used to be a high school, 
And so we had the added benefit of having a very big gym um, that was a high school sized gym. We have an excellent phys physical education program here. We do a lot of work outside when necessary and when we can um, to keep the kids out in the fresh air. We do have CYO sports programs with basketball and volleyball um, and many other sports. We have a play um, is on our uh, stage here. Um, we have in our uh, musical program, we have a junior high play that is also takes place in the gym here. So the added benefit of this large of a gym is when we have days where it's raining outside and we can't go outside for recess, the students take advantage of this large gym and allow us to have indoor recess where the kids can still get out, run around and, um, and get some energy out after a long day and then before they head back in for more education. So this is our hallway leading to our middle school. Um, as we walk down the hall, you'll notice that we have uh, lockers for our middle schoolers. So sixth, seventh, and eighth grade are all located in the same um, set of corridors. Each student gets their own locker. Um, it's kind of a nice added benefit uh, to the junior high. The sixth graders really look forward to moving ahead into sixth grade to, uh, to get their own lockers, to be a little bit more independent. Um, in our middle school, our classes um, rotate between uh, the, the four or five te teachers that um, teach in the middle school and the middle school content. Um, down the end of this hallway is our library where the students can use the library um, for checking out books, resource, uh, resources for research papers. Um, this right here is our sixth grade home room and our math room. And this is uh, Mrs. Fortier, who is our sixth grade homeroom teacher and our math teacher. Hi, Mrs. Carter. Uh, welcome to middle school. Welcome to what would be sixth grade homeroom. Um, I'm Mrs. Fortier and I teach sixth grade religion and also all the mathematics here at Our Lady Star of the Sea. I'll start off by talking about a little bit about sixth grade uh, religion class. Primarily we focus on salvation history in sixth grade, primarily the Old Testament starting with the covenant established with Adam and Eve and all the way up to the establishment of the church. The kids love it because they've not, they, they really naturally crave scripture and they want to, to read scripture and so they get, they get their first Bible in sixth grade and they're just so eager to, to read it. They learn how to uh, look up Bible verses and they start to really get the story. They start to make the connections between you know what they're hearing at mass and, um, and, and what they're, they're learning in the classroom. Part of sixth grade, one of the first things we do as uh, sixth grade um, students is uh, we choose a virtue, we prayerfully choose a virtue that identifies our class all through the three years here at Our Lady Star of the Sea. This year our, our, our class chose the Latin word virtus, which means courage, which was a really appropriate virtue for this year. And a lot of the religion le lessons, especially in sixth grade, we tie into this concept of, of, of courage. Another thing too that uh, sixth graders, is a tradition with sixth graders every year, is we have our annual three-day overnight trip to Camp Store, which the children really do love. It's three days of outdoor, primarily educational learning. For many of our students, it's their first time away from home, spending the night. And when they leave here in eighth grade and they write in their memory books, they write about one of their favorite memories here at Our Lady Star of the Sea is their sixth grade trip to Camp Store. I'll talk to you a little bit about our math program. We're very proud of our STREAM program here at Our Lady Star of the Sea. C S T R E A M, science, technology, religion, religion, engineering, the arts, and mathematics. Okay. And as their math teacher here, I kind of see that journey uh, mathematically with them here for the next three years. We do have two tracks of math that start in seventh grade. Uh, seventh, they have an opportunity uh, to be in a regular seventh grade math curriculum with, uh, and, in a, and an accelerated seventh grade math curriculum, which is pre-algebra. From that accelerated math program in seventh grade, they go on to Algebra One, which is a high school level course that we offer here. Uh, and they have the opportunity to, to earn Algebra One high school credit so that their sophomore year, depending on what high school they go to, they will either take Honors Algebra two or Honors uh, Sophomore Geometry. All right, so this is our computer lab. 
uh, which plays an important part to the technology pro, uh, portion of our stream program. We have two 3D printers used to create uh, um, mazes and grade appropriate models. We also have used them in the science lab for engineering and design projects as well. Uh, we have coding bots. STAR has three different types of coding bots for every grade level. Uh, we have a coding mouse for K through second grade, Botly for second grade to fifth, and Edison bots for grades five to eight. We also have Lego Mindstorms, and those are for our older grades, uh, five through eight, and they allow students to build and program their creations. They learn how to code. Um, we use the plat our, our Google Classroom platform uh, in the computer lab for all our students so that they're familiar with that uh, uh, program and that platform. So like if they're homesick and they need to get an assignment so that they're always learning even when they're home. And we also offer a computer class and library for preschool all the way through eighth grade. One of the great things about Our Lady Star of the Sea is that we're small and bigger isn't always better. Uh, our middle school is two hallways. We've, we're in A hallway and pretty soon we're going to be going around B hallway. It's great because we can always keep an eye on the kids. It keeps more of a, a community feel. And because we only have a handful of teachers in our middle school, we truly get to know your students over three years. For three years, I'll have your children. And you really learn to love them by the end of the three years. It's not just a student-teacher relationship. It's, it's something beyond that. And I've been here for 11 years, and many of my students now have graduated from college, and I still keep in touch with them. I've been invited to graduation parties. And it's like a... It's like a family here, and uh, it's, it's a lifelong family. You never stop that, that relationship with the children over the years. Uh, this is our seventh grade uh, homeroom um, and English room, one of our English rooms. One of the things that we're very proud of here at Our Lady Star of the Sea is that we offer two hours of language arts, a literature and writing course, as well as a vocabulary course. Uh, we offer that in sixth seventh and eighth grade. In seventh grade homeroom, uh, it's our first year of our confirmation preparation year. So homeroom uh, in seventh grade begins that journey to that, that sacrament, that huge sacrament and decision that they're making to be sealed and confirmed with the Holy Spirit in eighth grade. A couple of things uh, seventh grade enjoys doing is going down to vocation uh, awareness day at the seminary every year and learn about what God's calling is for them in their lives. Our Lady Star of the Sea has a National Junior Honor Society, which is a nice way for us to recognize and honor those students in our middle school starting in sixth grade who have exhibited uh, exemplary scholarship, uh, leadership, citizenship, and character. Our National Junior Honor Society students are leaders in the school and also run our school recycling program as well. This is one of our science labs. This is primarily where sixth grade comes for science. Um, and our wonderful science teacher, look, she has a lab already set up for tomorrow. It's a density lab. Uh, students in sixth grade, the focus is primarily earth science, but they also learn um, how to use uh, lab equipment effectively and safely and accurately. You can see here she has a density lab set up for tomorrow, so the kids are going to be learning how to measure uh, accurately with graduated cylinders, triple beam balances, Erlenmeyer flasks as well. Um, if you look up on top here, the students just learned had an astronomy unit, and part of uh, our engineering program, our science teacher had them design um, rovers that could travel on different planets and moons in our solar system. So they had to design a rover. We also have uh, computers in here as well that students can use for research. Uh, we also have Chromebooks that we use for research as well and for doing online virtual lab activities as well. Um, one of the important things to know about our science program is that we see God in all things. Many people think that science and religion is not compatible. 
and from day one in sixth grade, we show them, no, that is not true at all. That we, we teach them that mathematics is the language of God and science is just a wonderful method that he's given us to help us understand his amazing mind and how he created the universe. So we see God in all aspects of our science class. One of the things we're very proud of here at our Lady Star of, our Star of the Sea is our high school level, really, uh, laboratory. We use this for seventh and eighth grade. Here, the, stu the students learn um, how to do science. Um, even in sixth grade, we have hands-on labs and science activities every week for the students. Uh, we teach them how to become independent learners. Uh, not only are we teaching them the content of science, we're also teaching them how to practice study skills, how to take tests, how to organize, how to communicate and collaborate effectively in a science classroom to solve problems. We have microscopes. We can use the 3D printer in science class. We have biotech equipment, as you can see here. We actually have an electrophoresis machine. Some high schools would kill to have this. Um, and uh, the kids learn how to pipette. They learn how to extract the DNA. We're just so very blessed and fortunate to have this wonderful equipment. Um, as you can see, there's one of our EV3 robots that one of our students uh, designed, uh, created, and coded, uh, and it does work and it does move and it's pretty, it's pretty amazing. In seventh grade, the focus of our curriculum is physical science, and in eighth grade, it is biology. Every year during Catholic Schools Week, we have a very impressive science fair. Uh, sixth grade will do a, a standard science fair project showing um, how to use the scientific method. In seventh grade, uh, we have an invention convention. The seventh graders come up with their own invention. And actually one year we had a young man apply for a patent on his, um, in, uh, his, in, his invention, connect, convention, convention project. Um, and then in eighth grade, we have an engineering design project that is usually faith-based. So one year, our science teacher had the students um, design something uh, for homeless people so that they're doing a corporal act of mercy uh, and, 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 and associating that with technology and science. Our D hallway, our second hallway of our middle school, and uh, we were standing outside the social studies classroom, uh, and it's also the eighth grade homeroom where they are completing their final journey um, to be confirmed. Uh, it's an exciting year, eighth grade. It's a culmination of their many years here at Our Lady Star of the Sea. Uh, one of the things that we, they start the year off with is a saint's project. Um, on on uh, Halloween, they dress up as a saint that they have researched. And then we have a living saints museum in the gym. And the students and parents come in and they walk around and as they approach every student, that student is dressed as their saint. They talk about their saint. It's a really proud moment for the kids because they've worked very hard on this, these projects. This is some um, pictures, uh, drawings that they did of their saints this year, which are just incredibly beautiful. Um, they did these in art class. So we're always trying to tie in our art curriculum, curriculum with what is going on in the classroom as well. Also, um, in eighth grade, uh, there's a flag football game every year against St. Paul. Uh, we take a field trip to Blessed Father Solanus Casey. And every year there is a trip, a uh, class trip. In past years, it's been to Chicago. We did go to Washington, D.C. one time, but the parents and the students decide where they want to go every year. Um, and also, too, at the end of the year, we give them a nice send-off with a graduation party and a, and a mass and ceremony where they get a diploma. Um, just kind of a nice way to send them off after their many years here at STAR. Many of our students have been here since three-year-old preschool. Also, in the same room, they have social studies. And in social studies, the primary focus in social studies in sixth grade is world geography, seventh grade, studies U.S. history and explores the Civil War, and eighth graders pick up 
uh, finishing their U.S. history study with reconstruction through the present day. Thank you so much for joining us for a tour of our wonderful school, Our Lady Star of the Sea. Um, we're so proud of our programs. We're so proud of our academics, our rich um, faith-based learning. Uh, we're very, very proud of our students and as they move on to high school, how well they do in high school. We have fantastic teachers um, that just really are invested in the education, um, academically, faith-based, socially, emotionally of all of our students. If you have any other questions with regards to any part of our school, please feel free to uh, visit our website. Um, and you can also please reach out to us at, our, at the school office and we can answer any other questions that you may have Thank you so much for joining us at Our Lady Star of the Sea School and we hope to see you soon.